YouTube, what goes on? Welcome to Disavowed Action Figures with another quick look episode as we take a quick look at the brand new Marvel Legends Zem New Bring On the Supervillains Bad Guys God Doctor Doom. Stick around, guys, because this figure looks great. And before we get started, guys, please do me a tremendous favor. Hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell, if you would, please, to receive notifications when we post new content here on the channel. We're known for our toy hunts. We go all over the place trying to track down figures uh, in these toy hunts. Also, every Wednesday night, live at 7.05, right here on YouTube, we have a live stream where we talk about action figures, pop culture. It's a great community, great group of people. We talk toys. We have a great time. It's every Wednesday night at 7.05 right here live on YouTube. Now let's take a closer look at some other Dr. Dooms before we get to that guy. So working their way around on the base, here we can see the Dr. Doom uh, version, which came with the Super Skrull Build-A-Figure wave. Love the figure, love the look. I know it was a big deal when it came out, but man, the cape is just awful on this thing. It is almost impossible to counterbalance it, uh, but I do love the figure. Um, also coming around back to back with him, we do have the Walgreens exclusive Marvel legend, Victor Von Doom version of the Invincible Iron Man. This is when Victor Von Doom decided to try to be a superhero and take the place of the deceased Iron Man over in the Iron Man comic books. Uh, it was a pretty good run. Check it out. I enjoyed it. Uh, I really do like this figure a lot, even though it was a bit of a tease because we hadn't had our Doctor Doom release up until that point. I really do like the purple blast effects uh, as well as the purple magical effects here as well that go along the legs. Uh, also, it stands much better and the cape is just more, much more practical when it comes to actually posing for an action figure. Although I know a lot of people do prefer to get soft good capes for these guys. So there's our two Victor Von Dooms. We also do have the Doom uh, release that came on the retro back card, uh, which is on my wall, so I cannot take that out of the bubble to show you. It's a wall piece for me. Uh, but uh, there's two of our dooms. Let's take a look at our new figure. So this particular version of Dr. Doom is actually the God Doom character from Jonathan Hickman's Secret Wars, as you can see pictured on the comic book from issue number four in the background. Essentially, long story short, uh, Secret Wars was a Jonathan Hickman miniseries that was a culmination of almost three years of writing that he had did on the Avengers franchise. Uh, it's an epic, epic run. One of the best Avengers runs, in my opinion, in the history of the book. I would definitely suggest going to read it. Uh, great run. Uh, but again, it essentially culminates in this miniseries where Doctor Doom, along with Doctor Strange, manages to basically cobble together uh, a patchwork version of Earth called Battle World, uh, where he brings in uh, different uh, universes and uh, different versions of the Marvel Comics characters onto this planet, which basically gave writers and artists uh, a free pass to basically explore uh, all these different variants and different worlds of the Marvel Universe on one Earth. It's an amazing storyline. There's some Game of Thrones elements to it, which I absolutely loved. Uh, but essentially, Doom was a god. Uh, he managed to uh, steal godlike powers from the Beyonders in that comic book. And the entire series, Doom has the powers of a god. Uh, and this is the version he uh, presents himself as. Additionally, I really enjoy this figure because it also harkens back to Jonathan Hickman's Fantastic Four and Future Foundation run, which you can also see right behind the rotating base, where Doctor Doom first donned uh, a white version uh, of his costume uh, in that particular storyline. Another amazing Jonathan Hickman run for, for Marvel Comics. Uh, again, I would go back if I were you and just read as much Hickman Marvel Comics as you can, because everything kind of culminated in that Secret Wars book. And as you know, Hickman, if you're a comic book fan, is now writing on the X-Men. And you can just tell he's getting ready to tease some of those elements from those earlier runs in Marvel Comics. So that's a brief background on this character. Now let's take a closer look at the actual figure and box. So here's a close up of the box. If you watch my channel, you know I absolutely love box art. That looks fantastic right out of the comic book. On the back, you can see the write up here. You can pause it and read it to yourself. But as I said, it does allude to Battle World. Uh, here is our build a figure wave uh, for Zemnu, which I believe is an immortal Hulk villain. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. As you can see, Doom does not come with the Build-A-Figure piece. Uh, we do have the Jiramu. We do have the Hood. We do have Lady Deathstrike. We have Marvel's X-Men villain Arcade. We have Red Skull and, of course, the AIM Scientist Supreme, which you would then use to build the six pieces to build Zemnu. Let me know in the comments, do you care about the Build-A-Figure? It basically looks like a re-release of Windigo to me with some different body parts. I'll be passing on the Build-A-Figure, but some of these villains do look pretty awesome. But again, we do have the very nice uh, purple Super Villains logo on the box uh, with kind of that uh, highlighted green neon effect, which I do like. Um, the figure does come packed with, as you can see, uh, different hands. We have a, a fisting hand. Uh, we do have a gripping hand. Um, we also do have the uh, spinal <laughs> column and skull of Thanos 
If you want to know how that happened, check out the book. Uh, let's go for a close look at the actual figure. So there is a close-up of the head sculpt. I really like what they did here. Uh, obviously with the white costume, white gloves, the white tunic uh, with the hood. Uh, additionally, they did put a bit of a silver. Uh, it looks like on the belt buckle, which looks great. Um, he did not have the uh, holster in the comic book. That is obviously because this is just a reuse of that original Doom. Uh, so I have heard some collectors have been popping that off. Uh, but again, one of the best things about this Doom figure, uh, the original, was the texture in the tunic, which looks great here, also on the white uh, figure. Uh, as you can see, the gun is also, I believe, in that holster as well. So they did give us all the same pieces that came with that original Doctor Doom figure. Um, I think he looks great. So you're probably asking yourself, do I need to buy this figure? Well, there's no Build-A-Figure piece included. So if you need to build the Build-A-Figure, you don't need to pick him up. Uh, personally, I think the pack-in of the spinal column along with the skull is as good as a Build-A-Figure piece, maybe even better because you can use it with different displays in your collection. Um, however, if you have the uh, actual version of Doctor Doom or the retro version, this is probably an easy pass for you unless you have a real affinity uh, to this Jonathan Hickman Secret Wars storyline as I do. Personally, I was waiting on this figure since I read that Hickman run, which again was probably going on 10 years ago. Uh, I know, again, it's a representation more so of Secret Wars. However, personally, uh, I wanted this figure in my collection for a long time. I do have a shelf of black and white suited figures he'll fit per perfectly on. Uh, and again, just that uh, connection to the storylines. I'm a huge Jonathan Hickman uh, comic book fan, if you haven't been able to tell already. So it was a must for me. Uh, I did get this at Dorkside Toys online. This is not found in a store. So I know it is popping up in some Targets. Um, but don't go running out tonight. Uh, and again, I did not get this at a big box location. Uh, I would like to say that Dorkside Toys did a fantastic job. I saw this available on a Sunday morning. I locked it in. Uh, I received it by a Thursday early afternoon, a, you know, a few days later. So great job by Dorkside Toys. Came in an excellent package. I was very happy with it. So I'm glad that this figure. Let me know in the comments, are you building this Build-A-Figure? Zemnu, are you passing on the Build-A-Figure? Uh, are you buying this particular figure, even though you don't need to, to build the Build-A-Figure? I know a lot of people like Lady Deathstrike. Um, who are you picking up in this wave if you're not buying the entire thing? And as always, guys, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps the channel grow. Hit the like. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of this figure and others. And I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs.